Just a few weeks ago, my colleague Frank Decker and I had the opportunity to visit an area in South Asia that the Mission Society has been praying about entering for some time. We visited teeming cities with multitudes of people and, and dusty little farming villages. But everywhere you looked, there were people, people, people. What struck me the most, I suppose, was the grinding poverty that was, uh, that was everywhere you turned. People li living in little hovels that just broke your heart. But as I looked at the, the physical poverty that was so evident, what struck me was the realization that the spiritual poverty was even greater. A hundred million people live in that particular state, in that country. Probably fewer than one percent are followers of Jesus, and the vast majority, if they've ever heard his name, have never really heard the good news of the gospel. Well, on Sunday morning, towards the end of my time, I was going to have the opportunity to visit with Frank a little house church, meeting with a group of believers in a very humble home. I've been invited to share a few words, and so early that morning I was up praying and asking God what he had to say to a group of people like that, and frankly, what he had to say to me and to the Mission Society as we're, we were praying about entering that area. It was the 9th of January, and so as is often my custom, I was reading through the Psalms and began with Psalm 9. And when I got to verse 18, these words leapt from the page and into my heart. God says, But the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted ever perish. The needy will not always be forgotten. Friends, all over the world there are people that we have forgotten that God has not. He's never forgotten them. And today he's calling us to remember the ones he has remembered. Within the next few months, it's our prayer that workers from the Mission Society will begin to enter that region to join Jesus on his mission there. They'll not be going to take Jesus there. No, Jesus is already there inviting us to join him, inviting us to join humble believers like the ones with whom we met that Sunday morning to announce the kingdom of God and to proclaim the unsearchable riches of Jesus Christ in an area that God never forgot. Would you pray for God to continue to raise up workers to go to that area? Pray for the believers who already live there, who are such a tiny minority and have such huge challenges in front of them. Pray for the growing mission movement in that country that is sending workers to regions like this that have been long forgotten. Thank you for standing with us. God bless you.